So ladies and gentlemen, today is a video that I didn't expect to be making today. I actually thought I was going to be making it tomorrow. And that is today the Warzone weapons tuning update went live. So what I mean by this is they basically nerfed the four weapons that are currently really good and the best weapons within Warzone. They are all Black Ops Cold War weapons and they definitely all needed a nerf. But the big question is, did they do enough to nerf them? And I'll tell you right now, no. No, no, not not at all. They're still going to be the best weapons in the game. I don't know how any other weapon can be better, especially with the long range weapons that we're going to look at. Now, throughout this video, we're going to look at exactly what they changed on these weapons, the actual stats as to what changed. On top of that, in each weapon, we're going to discuss whether or not it is still one of the best weapons in the game. And spoiler, for the most part, yeah, it's absolutely still the best weapons in the game. Now, aside from that, there wasn't really anything else to discuss within this Warzone update. There isn't any other changes to any other weapons. This was specifically to nerf these weapons. And let's answer the question, is it going to change the meta? So what I'm going to do in this video is start off by telling you what Raven said was changed and then discuss what actually changed on the weapon. And we'll start off with the big daddy, the one that everyone is using right now, the DMR-14. So as far as the DMR goes, before it was really good in Warzone, I never really used it in multiplayer. But the reason why it is so good is because previous to this update, it was a two-shot headshot kill, which is exactly the same as the sniper rifles. And it had had a faster fire rate and essentially no recoil. With this update, they reduced the headshot damage and they increased the recoil. That's what they said that they did. Now, upon testing this, what they actually did is reduce the headshot damage from 175 to 114. So with full armor, it is now a three shot kill to the head, which is also still the same as some other sniper rifles. And it is now a two shot to the body, one shot to the head kill. This seems like a big deal, but it's not. Now, it's not the melt machine that it was before, but it is still really damn good. Now, the increase to the recoil essentially did nothing. If anything, the recoil actually seems a little bit better. There is more of a jump between the second and third bullets, but other than that, the recoil pattern after that third bullet is null and void. So because of that, I honestly almost think the recoil pattern is actually better so because of this this is absolutely still one of the best weapons in the game it still melts people it's going to be basically one more bullet to kill it's the exact same if you weren't hitting headshots so honestly not a big deal still one of the best weapons in the game the second weapon was the type 63 so this weapon is essentially the dmr 14 but with a little bit more recoil that is the easiest way of looking at it now before this update it did 175 headshot damage after the update it now does 124 headshot damage they also stated that they increased the recoil and again it's basically the exact same thing as the dmr a little bit more recoil between the second and third bullets but other than that recoil is less than it was before this update at least that is what i am experiencing so what i am telling you is that this weapon is still equally as good not as good as the dmr 14 but just as good as it was comparatively to the dmr 14 before the patch in other words for long range engagements these two weapons are absolutely without a shadow of a doubt the two best weapons still in the game yes they are a little bit worse Yes, you won't get melted like you did before, but yes, you're still going to see everyone using them. After this, we have the MAC-10. Now, this one, all they did to this one was reduce the headshot multiplier. That is it. And essentially what this did was change the headshot damage up close from 40 to 30 damage. So 10 damage less. Essentially, it's going to be one more bullet to kill, two more bullets to kill if you were just hitting headshots. It is a big deal, but the good thing about this weapon wasn't really the headshot damage. It was more so the fast, fast, fast rate of fire and the good mobility with it as well. Now, what I will say about this nerf is that this was one of the reasons why there is no reason using any other SMG. Now, I think there's actually a pretty decent argument to use something like an MP7 that has a little bit more range, less recoil, and is a little bit more manageable. That being said, up close, as far as SMGs goes, I still believe that the MAC-10 is the best weapon, but it's not the best up close weapon. That would go to the Diamedes. So as far as the Diamedes go, they got two nerfs. First of all, increased hip fire spread and decreased damage range. Now, here's the thing. 
the increased hip fire spread is a big deal, but you're only using this weapon up close to the point where that is really not going to make a difference. If you miss one bullet here or there, you just have such a fast fire rate and such a low burst delay that that is not a huge deal. The second one, you can't really test because you're using it akimboed, but they decrease the damage range of the weapon as well. Now, they said that they did this to dual pistols specifically, so if you're using a single pistol, the damage range shouldn't be decreased, so that's why you can't test it. So, as far as this goes, again, not a big deal because I only ever use these when I'm in the same room as someone. Other than that, I'm using my primary weapon, whether that be a DMR or some other assault rifle, so honestly this still doesn't do enough to nerf the diametes so what i am telling you is that literally nothing changed in the meta so for those of you who have classes set up with the dmr and the dual pistols or the dmr and the mac 10 or the type 63 and any of those weapons you basically don't have to change anything you might want to try to reduce the hip spread on the dual pistols other than that you don't really have to worry the only thing that i might change and this is a big might is maybe the mp5 or maybe the mp7 instead of the mac 10 i haven't tested them out enough to know for sure but honestly with the fire rate of the mac 10 i really don't think you have anything to worry about so as far as this update goes, I don't know why they didn't do more. Actually, that's not true. I do know why they didn't do more. They want certain weapons within the Black Ops Cold War subset of weapons to be usable within Warzone. And right now, if they nerf the hell out of the DMR-14 Type 63 Mac 10 and dual pistols, if they made them so that every other weapon in the game was better than them, which is what a lot of people wanted, there would be no weapons from Black Ops Cold War that would really compete with the Modern Warfare weapons. People would still be using M4s, Grouse, Kilos, and then the Car 98 as a sniper rifle. With the DMR and the Type 63 being as good as they are, in my eyes at least, there is no point in using that Car 98 because it's basically going to be easier to hit shots with these weapons because they have a faster fire rate, low recoil, and yes, it is going to take one more bullet to kill now than the Car 98, but at the same time you're probably better off using these weapons so there is a fine line between nerfing the hell out of a weapon to the point where it's unusable anymore and nerfing it to where it's just not a beast and i think they did that to a certain extent with the dmr now it's not going to be the absolute melt machine where you have zero time to react however i don't think it was enough and if you're wondering what i would do to nerf it enough there would have to be a lot more recoil, specifically on the DMR-14. The Type 63, yes, has a little bit more recoil, but I still don't think it's enough. But to me, it's that recoil that is really going to be the thing that makes these weapons still unstoppable. As far as the dual pistols go, I think you have to increase the burst delay so you can't shoot bursts as fast. That's what I personally think you have to do. You could also do something a little bit more with the damage. I'm just not 100% sure what that is. So, do you need to change your classes? No, it's still going to be the same thing you're running into in every single game. Uh, and that's kind of unfortunate. Now, for a future update, what I think that they need to do is actually buff some of the other Black Ops Cold War weapons and then nerf these. Because if they just nerf these into the ground, no Black Ops Cold War weapons are going to be usable. And I don't want to see that. I want the meta to change up. Unfortunately, this is just not the patch that is going to do that. So... If you've played since the update, let me know what you think down in the comments. To me, it's absolutely not enough. But like I said, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I tried to keep it as informative as possible. So if you enjoyed, it's always appreciated if you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date on all my videos, all that good jazz. And anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for